Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming and welcome back to Fortress Craft Evolved, the Frozen Factory DLC. We're on day number 16 and wow, this base is coming along really nicely. Now on the in-between, I didn't do very much. Don't worry, I didn't do very much, but I did do a couple things. I did add another power node here just being fueled by the infused coal and of course added another PSB, another solar panel, and I added a couple more Mark IV PSBs on top of the refineries as well as a couple solar panels. That's it. That's it. That's all I've done on the in-between. And of course, uh, during that time, just basically waited enough time to finish off the rest of basic rocketry. So let's collect that and go see. You know what? I think we're just going to finish off whatever research is here just to say that it's done. Advanced storage. Uh, yeah, so that will be uh, an expansion. Oh, that requires refined liquid resin, too. That'll be an expansion of the mass storage, which I still have not used. I don't know if I'm going to. I really haven't seen a need to do that. I still have these uh, these these storage totems here and really they've been serving all of my needs essentially i don't see a reason to store that much ore or anything else at this point maybe once we start to get into the frozen factory dlc stuff we might have a need to store large amounts of something i don't know so yes i added an extra node here and of course expanded our coal enrich and coal and <laughs> coal enricher and infuser all the way to the end here so it's getting quite large getting quite large but anyway so uh moving on w today what we really need to do is get a few more research points i did manage to find a couple research points actually quite a few research points just scouring the area getting the extra plants that i hadn't researched in the uh, on the ground level now i do think that we've got one more big chunk of research points from the hive mind uh which is interesting actually i don't know if i ever saw the insides of a hive mind on the last series but i think i did i oh now i can't see it you know what's interesting is every time i sort of dig through and we can see the hive mind it's like it covers itself back up so every time i reload the game it rebuilds the the uh whatchamacallit the resin around the hive mind but yeah i've been able to see into the where the hive mind is and uh and, and it's something that we can scan and get a few more research points but i guess i'm gonna have to come back because i think it rebuilds it every time i reload the game which is really interesting so another thing to make note of is i have not finished the the wall of windows around the hive mind i'm not going to do that people are saying that these these space windows will not contain it now the reason i chose space windows in the first place is because they only cost eight construction paste and uh yeah I, I we can't afford to do anything more than that so people are saying i need to use reinforced blocks which cost 16 construction paste i mean it would require me just running around and digging up a lot of rock just to to do that so i'm not going to do that i'm just going to harvest the hive mind on the outside we, it looks like we've, we've got a long time to go before we've actually we're actually going to dig through that thing Anyway, dig through all of it. And when it does start to get low, we will add some Minox there and have them eat some of the ore. So now, what we need to do is I do have a little bit of research points kicking around. What I'd like to do is get, dun dun dun, the orbital energy transmitter done. And I'd like to do the orbital strike controller and uh, improve cargo lift. Let's get that out of the way as well. The overclocker, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm not sure what to do with that quite yet. But I need to remember, I don't remember what we need to build the OET. And uh, uh, let's go orbital, orbital, and then we'll go like this. And yeah, I don't know because this thing is 1,053, 1,053 blocks, and it requires pods. Oh no, that's right. A ton of pods, ultimate, advanced, and XL. So the uh, titanium pods, the gold pods, and the nickel pods. Oh boy. <laughs> so I do have some in storage, but I don't have that much in storage. Uh, I, I never, I, yeah, I didn't know which ones to actually work on anyway. So we need gold. There's a hundred gold. There's titanium and there's nickel. So I guess we're going to have to do some waiting before we can actually really start getting going with that. I guess we could start building the, the ground floor of this thing. So let's see. So we, uh, that'll give us a hundred <laughs> and we need a thousand fifty three. So I need, uh, yeah, a lot more than that. Soul craft 25, 25, 25. There we go. And we've got 100 to start. So yeah, uh, I was thinking that we're gonna build the OET over on this side. I have a little bit more room over here. Notice I did chop down this mountain and just take all that rock. I didn't use explosives or anything fun. We haven't done explosives this series yet. I'm kind of hoping that we're gonna find something that we really need to blow up, like a hive mind or something. We're gonna have to blow up some hive mines later soon anyway. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to maybe do the bottom layer of this thing. Pardon me, spider bro. Spider bro's like gonna stand on me. Oh, let's uh, kill this. Kill this. Hello. 
Ah, spider bro! Don't step on me, spider bro! <laughs> spider bro gets very violent sometimes. I don't know, what are we gonna do for the base of this thing? I do like the neon border. I think we'll do the neon border. Let's craft crafting, some crafting. of those. And let's get uh, those on the bar here. Uh, neon border, we're gonna stick that there. And the base of this thing is nine by nine. go i've got a nice base for it i think it looks pretty sharp too and we're gonna get i'm gonna put down the first layer of this this thing is super tall <laughs> uh okay so let's go uh let's just go over here well ah whoops <laughs> i don't know i think that base looks really awesome i'm gonna do, add some color to it later so i probably should just wait until i get all of the pieces for this bloody thing so I just, I gotta keep note of how far I've come along. In other words, I'm sitting at a hundred pieces of this so far, so I only need 953 more. <laughs> only 953 more pieces. So 100 almost covers one level. <laughs> That's 81, 81 blocks per level, crazy. And this thing is thir 13 levels high, insane. Okay, so I've also added a little bit more terrain around this thing so that we have a little bit more room to work with um, so that we can start putting in some of our power systems here that it's gonna, that's, that are gonna fuel this thing. Wow, this thing requires so much power. I, I don't remember exactly what the numbers are, but I know it requires a lot of power. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to go grab. Um, however, I think we're going to start with six, um, maybe actually 12, 12 turbines, 12 turbines, I think, to start. We're playing on sparse power mode, so we need, we're need. we going to need lots. I don't know if I have the materials to build even close to that. Okay, yeah, so we're going to need, uh, let me just punch this in the calculator. We're going to need 432 jet turbine generator housings. 432, 36 times 12, wow. And then the jet turbine intakes, we're going to need 108. <laughs> we're going to need a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of advanced machine blocks and a lot of plastic pellets. So I'm going to work on that too. And we're just going to, I'll meet you guys back here in a second while I work on some of this stuff. There he is. There's Jerry the Hive Mind. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, he's kind of cute. I like him. I like his one big eye on his side there. Very, very cute. Let's take a closer look at him. Hello, Jerry. Hello. Oh, Jim Bob's in there. Of course, Jim Bob's in there. You have to check out Jerry. Jerry seems pretty, I don't know, pretty harmless. Like, he doesn't really do much other than create resin. But I, why does he need an eye if he's hidden inside? Maybe that's not an eye. Maybe it's a bunghole. Maybe it's his bunghole. <laughs> I don't know. Is that his bum? Is that the hive mind bum? And he just poops out resin all day? Interesting. So, yeah, there's there's Jerry the hive mind. We're just going to let Jerry sit in there and Jim Bob. Uh, I guess we'll let him sit in there. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Don't touch it. You don't know where it's been, Jim Bob. <laughs> All right, I gotta go back upstairs. All right, let's research the hive mind. There he is, the hive core. Interesting. That's not what he looks like at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. All right, that's fine. Uh, next thing on the list, we need to get the Mark IV induction and the Mark V induction because we now have access to faster, uh, the improved cargo lift, but it requires Mark V force induction as well as oh, basic minecart. Have I even researched the basic minecart yet? I don't think I have. Hold on, where is it here? Minecart, minecart, basic minecart. So we'll grab that. Now, I don't know what's involved in building any of this stuff at all. <laughs> so the improved cargo lift. Okay, so we need a basic minecart. So I'm going to need, uh, hold on, how many of these am I going to need? I'm going to need uh, one, two, three, four, five for every one of my lifts here. So I'm going to need five of everything. So five basic minecarts. I'm assuming that it's here. Where is the basic minecart? Oh, it's under minecarts. That's right. Basic minecarts. <laughs> right. So I'm going to have to go gather all this material. I'll talk to you guys in a second. Okay. I built a bunch of construction material for the Mark II and Mark III and Mark IV inductions. However, I didn't realize I didn't look at this closely enough. It requires four, sorry, eight Mark IV forced induction for one Mark V. That is insane. That's absolute madness. So I might be able to build one here maybe because I built enough for uh, five Mark IV inductions, and I need 
Holy crap, I need a lot. If I'm gonna replace all of our cargo lifts, that's that's gonna be insane. So first things first, let's build our basic mine carts. Let's just build, Drafting. yeah, we'll build the five. I built enough, oh, hold on, four. Uh, yeah, we'll just build four, that's fine. That's fine, that's totally fine. And then just to double check on everything here, let's see, the, the improved cargo lift requires, the basic cargo lift, which will go grab from the actual cargo lift uh, area there. And the mar one Mark V, the Mark V inductions are insanely expensive. I mean, somebody was mentioning that in the comments one day, but I wasn't really paying attention. So I'm gonna convert all of these old Mark IIs into Mark Threes. We'll convert as many of these Mark Threes into Mark Fours as we can. That's only three of them. So hold on, let's build one more. Let's start at the beginning here. One. I'm just gonna. We're gonna be. We're gonna have enough to build one improved cargo lift. I think. So there we go. We've got four. No, no, no. I don't even have enough. I have half the amount required to build one mark five so i'm gonna go back to the drawing board and i'm gonna get all the materials for another four mark four inductions okay be right back okay after a whole bunch of pain i finally got to a point where i think we're ready to build one just one mark five so we've got uh, six force induction Drafting. then we'll do six mark Drafting. twos and then we'll add those to the mark Drafting. threes so we've got eight mark threes now we can turn those eight mark threes into Drafting. another four Drafting. mark fours and eight mark fours for one mark five that is insane that's madness now i think i still need one more thing to put together the improved cargo lift i need a basic cargo lift so let's go downstairs you can take a look at our uh refinement area it really hasn't changed all that much since the last time we looked at it it's still kind of a mess because we still have this tin in the way of everything but uh you know it is what it is so we just have to wait just gonna wait for the gold uh oh oh yeah see uh the one that the big, the weakest link of our base right now is gold. Gold is the biggest problem we're having. We just don't have enough. If you look at my bar, actually my my uh, ore bar down there, you can see we're at down to 134 uh, units of gold, and I'm gonna need a ton of gold to build all of those uh, turbines. So yeah, and it's just it's one thing that's causing us a bunch of problems right now. So I need to improve the lift. Is it coming up? Oh, it's going down right now. Yeah, the lift is very very slow. In the meantime, I did put together enough materials to build two more Mark IVs for the gold smelters. So let's do that. Man, this is expensive. These are super... Oh, I built one. <laughs> oh, what do I need? I need... Oh, that's right. I need two of each of these. That's right. Two. Two. Oh, I don't have... Oh, I'm out of nickel. What? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to run out of... I really need to... Uh, beef up all of my mines I think it's it's time it's time to start beefing up all of the mines so we're gonna go one oh I need what hold on no that's right yep so one more of these and then one more mark four there we go now we've got exactly enough to put down two more mark four inductions on the gold smelters now uh, I realize that this this line is actually one of the reasons it's going so slow is we just don't have enough power going into here. So I'm gonna have to improve the power systems for this, especially for the improved lift. I'm sure it uses a ton of power. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. So this has made me question my motive here, and maybe maybe the improved lift is not what we needed here. Maybe just more power. But I'm gonna replace the lift anyway. I've come this far. I might as well let it unload there. I think it's all unloaded. Let's grab that lift before it goes down. And we're going to throw that in the uh, in the mixer here. And we're going to make an improved cargo lift. Wow, it took a lot of work to make just one of these lifts. Okay, so there we go. We built it. And let's throw it in and see what happens. It's probably going to self-destruct here. Where is it? Where's where's the improved lift? Why can't I see it? Is it? Does it look like the other one? Oh, there it is. Improved lift. Okay, so this sucker... It can carry a thousand, a thousand units. That's great. Wow. It, and it probably uses the same amount of power or maybe it probably uses more. What am I saying? So it's out of power again. <laughs> All right. So the next thing on the list is we're going to remove these two suckers. We're going to replace them with the new and improved Mark IV induction. And now this might actually cause some serious power problems down here because these suckers use a ton more power. And I'm still running just basic infused coal down here, and uh, I'm going to have to upgrade this soon. I was kind of hoping that this tin would go away before I had to do that. But yeah, this should dramatically improve our rate at which we process the ore. Now, I just need to get some more power 
for the lift itself. All right, so let's go back upstairs. As you can see, it's definitely a power shortfall. So this is where the cargo lift power is coming from. So I do have some blue power coming from this here, which is coming from one of our power nodes, but it's just not enough. It's just not enough, especially to run that improved cargo lift. I assume it uses more power just in general. So let's remove all this. I'm just gonna remove those. I'm gonna leave the rest of that there. And we're gonna build a whole bunch more uh, blue power storage blocks. For now, I'm thinking we might even have to do like a Mark IV with with a large solar panel on it, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet. Let's uh, let's just go kind of crazy with Drafting. these here. Whoops, <laughs> built a little Drafting. too many. That's fine, power storage block. There we got lots lots of power storage block Mark IIs. Uh, why am I using Mark IIs? I just don't know if it's necessary to go too crazy with this yet until I get a better understanding of what we're really gonna need here. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna have to do a Mark IV with, with a large solar panel on it. I don't know, speaking of solar panels, let's build some extra solar panels. I don't have enough. I'm, I'm you know, I, I definitely need to get more uh, refined liquid resin going because I just don't have enough. Oh, I'm out of gold. Oh no, oh no. This is it, this is it folks. We've actually run out of gold. Oh no. Okay, I'll be back when we get some more gold. Ugh. Okay, so I've let this cargo lift run for a while with its current layout, so I only added one more uh, organic solar panel, and that's it. That's it. And of course, put some more of the uh, Mark Mark One laser shooting down into the uh, array of PSB twos down there, and it's running okay. Now, I did in fact verify that that cargo lift uses 250 power per second versus a regular cargo lift, which uses 30 power per second. So. Uh, the reason it's holding up here is not because we have a ton of power. It's because the uh, the lift does stop intermittently. Like, it takes a little bit of time to load, and it takes some time to unload. Which begs the question, was it worth it? I don't know. I don't know if it was worth it or not, but we are starting to get some decent gold up here. So, on to the next thing. I have enough material now to build the jet turbine generator housing. I need 432 of these and I should have 431 gold. So perfect, I can just go like this and build them all at once. That's a lot of jet turbine generator housing. Now, another thing, the basic rocketry opened up, uh, where is it here? It opened up the fuel compressor. Now, the reason I didn't see this at first is because I was looking for it in power generation, which I thought, you know, I would think that would be under power generation, but what do I know, right? The high, the, oh, high orbital debris object reclaimer? The Hodar, that sounds familiar. The high, high orbital debris object reclaimer can be used to knock orbital debris out of the atmosphere for use. This is no, this is completely new. I've never seen this before. So this is a three by one by three configuration. The fuel compressor is a three by three by three, so 27. I will build those next time. So this, I can use coal ore and high energy composite fuel to create high octane fuel, which is a new fuel source, which I assume doubles the turbine output, which is great. We're totally gonna use it, but not right now. Right now, we're gonna worry about getting our infrastructure built for the OET. So I had an idea. I was thinking we could do we're gonna do the Mark V, <laughs> I know, the Mark V PSBs, the Mark V PSBs, and build them starting uh, where the uh, where the OET begins. And then behind that, we're gonna do a set of six of the turbines behind it. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna get the turbines built and I'm gonna fast forward it while I do this because it's this gonna be painful, I'm sure. All right, be right back. So there's the 12 turbines built. 
Wow, uh, that took a long time to actually get to this point. I'm going to replace all this stuff on the bottom here eventually with with other stuff built with construction paste so it looks a little bit nicer. But hey, there's our power source for our OET already. Now, uh, the next thing we need to do is get the the inputs and outputs done. So I'm going to do the inputs right here. Let's go all the way up to the top so I know where I am. Okay, so inputs. So inputs for fuel is going to be on this side. Actually, we should probably do that from the bottom now that I think about it. Yeah, so let's go up like that and we'll go input here. So this is for the high energy fuel. And we're going to go... Ah, we might as well... You know what? We might as well... Uh, hmm. Yeah, because these... Uh, yeah, these these can all be interconnected with a... A doodad. You know what I mean? A doodad. <laughs> uh, yes, so with, with uh, conveyor belts, of course. So, to, and then the next one, which is there, and then rotate that around so I can see it. And then this one, connected by conveyors, make sure they're going the right direction. There we go. And then we'll throw the storage hopper there, turn that around. Excellent. Those will have to be remove only. I'll do that in a second. And then these next ones... Same kind of thing. We're going to do it right near the end here so that I can actually come back and look and see which ones are full or not. You know what? We're going to... I shouldn't have taken that thing down. That's okay. We're going to bring this up and then we're going to go... Whoops! <laughs> all the way down. And then we're going to... This one is going to be... Oh, we're out of storage hoppers. Of course. I built everything else. Just not the storage hoppers. We'll Crafting. get 25 of those handy. Okay, so and we'll rotate that around and then we'll go two down and then we'll go another storage hopper and then we'll rotate that and then we'll go up again and storage hopper there we go beautiful rotate that around doesn't matter if we leave that green in the center but it's, i'm gonna know it's there and it's gonna bother me <laughs> so i'll just take that out that should be fine and there we go ah wah uh, you knew that was going to happen, right? If there's a way for me to fall off of something, I will fall off of it. Yeah, I didn't really give myself a lot of room there on the edge, but that's okay. And then we're going to bring this... Oh, I guess I should have kept all this uh, greenery here for now, because we're going to bring that conveyor belt like so. And it's going to go down below. We're going to bring in... Oh, actually, sorry, that needs to go the other direction. Needs to go down there we go beautiful and then the other side is going to go up from the bottom so that's going to come in through the whoops that's going to come in through the bottom all the way from the processing area is that right i think that's right nope it's not right ah bugger i was close <laughs> uh there we go beautiful excellent just like so. And then these are going to be all remove only. Remove only and remove only. And there is our power setup. Now, the Mark V is going to set up equivalent to the first layer here. And it's it's going to be 5 by 5 by 9. So it's 9 meters tall. So these things can power up the Mark V. And the Mark V power storage block can store 4.5 million units of power. So we can get that started right away, even before we finish the OET, because it's going to take some time to even finish that Mark V, get it all full up, right? So I'm quite a ways from having our first Mark V, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So we've got uh, two units built, and we need a total of nine for a total of 225 blocks. But each one of these units that we build, every 25 unit block that we built for the Mark V battery requires basically a Mark IV. So let's just Rafting. craft as many of those as we can so we can build another two Rafting. more. Rafting. So I just need uh, five more Mark V battery components or or five more Mark IV batteries, which means I need a lot more alloyed machine blocks. Actually, Rafting. I can build some here. No, not quite enough. Anyway, so. Uh, I'm gonna go take care of that, and, uh, one second. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6, 27. <laughs> and then 1, 2, 3, and then the Mark V battery components. Is that enough? It's enough! Oh my god! Okay, well, uh, that's done. <laughs> 
Aren't YouTube videos absolutely wonderful? You don't have to endure all the really painful things in this process. <laughs> Lucky you guys. All right, five. So we're going to start this right here. So let's build the the platform that this is going to sit on. I, again, I'm going to change this material uh, once I have the construction pace to do so. I do have a fair amount on me, but I, I haven't decided what, uh, what kind of material we're going to use for this whole thing quite yet. There we go, and then we'll build that one. I think that's right. So it's a five by five by 13 structure, the Mark V battery. And I wanna do another one on the other side too. So, but I'm gonna do that on the in-between. That should be uh, fine. Okay, let's get this thing on the bar. Uh, let's see, let's throw that, where is it? Nope, nope, there it is, right there. Yes, oh, I'm so excited to finally get this far in the game actually. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 10. It is uh, only 9 high, only 9 high. Right, so down by 1. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to go like that, like that, like that. Excellent. All the way across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's right. I think that's right. I guess we're going to find out, right? <laughs> that's that's the thing. We're going to find out. So we should be able to just do this whole thing like this. No problem. Oh. I screwed up. That's okay. That's okay. I'll go back and do that last row when I've done this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful, careful, careful. Just like that. Excellent. And then the last row. If I've done this correctly, we should have a Mark V battery. Uh, how can I be missing three? How can I be missing three? It says I still have three blocks to place. How's that possible? How's that possible? I... I don't understand. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to dismantle this whole thing because I probably I don't know what I did that doesn't make any sense okay I'll be right back two three four five six seven eight nine two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20, <laughs> 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. There we go. We've got the Mark V battery. Let's go take a look at this beast. We, oh, jump jet. Oh, well, there we go. Beautiful. Nice save, Rubby. All right. So there's our Mark V battery. Oh, man. It took a lot of work to get all this done. Wow. This was a busy episode. I guess they're always a busy episode. I always say that every episode because it's true. It's true. Okay. I'm going to take out... Whoops, uh, I want to leave that in there. I'm going to take out some of this extra stuff here. And I'm going to put a storage hopper. We can't even can't see anything down here. So hold on. Let's throw a light right there. Perfect. And we're going to throw a storage hopper right here for now. So I can get this thing going. I can get it going right away. Do I have any high energy fuel on me? No, nope, of course I don't. And as you can see, we're being attacked by swarms. Like there's, there's about 50 to 60 heavies attacking every time. Which is crazy. All right, let's get over there really quickly. Oh, that's too quick. <laughs> okay, let's grab some high energy fuel. I'm just gonna grab a hundred for now, being that we're gonna be re retooling our high energy fuel into high octane fuel. Uh, I don't want to do too much of the regular high on high energy fuel, but uh, we want to get it started, right? Because I want to see this thing working. So I let's hold on. E I let's throw that in here, and we should start to see this thing begin to juice up. It's going to take some time for it to get up to full speed here, but there it goes. There's the first set of turbines firing up. Yay! The first set of turbines firing up. Yep, both sides. Excellent. <laughs> kind of hard to see with all the uh, shots being fired here. And then the second level... Uh, I hope I didn't screw up that... Oh, no, no. There it goes. There's the last level. Hasn't juiced up the second level quite yet. I don't know why it's not juicing up the second level. What did I do? I, I screwed something up, I'm sure. I'm sure. Hold on, let's uh, go back up here. Let's just take a quick look. It should be juicing up the second level. I, I think it's just because the uh, 
high energy fuel isn't move or is, is continually moving. Hold on, did I maybe set that? No, I set it as remove only. It'll it'll all get going. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. It's working. Woohoo! <laughs> you'd think. I mean, hey, you'd think if this wasn't all stapled down properly, this thing that uh, Mark V would take off with all these turbines firing on one side of it. So let's see, are we juicing up? Oh, we're not getting any power. <gasps> oh, don't tell me it doesn't get power from the front side. I think I don't think it does. I don't think we get power from the front side. So we're gonna have to oh, we're gonna have to set up. Oh man, that kind of. Actually, no, 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 no. I know what we'll do. So hold on, we're gonna do. So apparently the power doesn't uh, go from the from the intake on this thing to the to the actual module. So what we can do is instead of that, we're gonna do the number six. We're gonna do these suckers in between every single one, right? That'll work. That should work, I think. So we'll have to do it in front of every single one. So we'll hold, we'll go down here. We'll do that, like so, and then we're going to go up a bit, and we're going to do another one on the next level, and the problem is I don't have enough of these lasers on me, but next time, we'll have this all going next time, but there you go, there you have it, guys, I think we're going to have to do some uh, other power storage blocks on the in-between, whoa, 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 almost got myself killed already with these things, uh, but the infrastructure's up, I'll have to work out the details tomorrow because I'm tired. I'm just really glad that we got this working. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time I have for you today. We will see you in a couple more days for another episode of Fortress Craft Evolved, the Frozen Factory DLC. I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm loving this game. It's a lot of work, but I'm loving this game. All right, take care. Bye, bye, bye.